Hi, thanks for joining me. My name is Dennis from ONGC and today we're going to look at some basic tasks with working in calendars in SharePoint Online. Now I'm already here on my SharePoint page and you'll notice if I scroll down that I do actually have the calendar ready available on the home page. However, what I'll do is come over to the left and select calendar from the list of items. This will present me with a pretty standard calendar view, which is currently month by month. And you'll notice I can actually select on the left different months, as well as changing the year backwards and forwards, or simply selecting the today link on the bottom will just return you to today's date. Most of the work that you do in the SharePoint calendars will be done via the top two tabs. There's an events tab as well as a calendar tab. And in the events tab, you can do things such as create the a new event or edit a view of events, or coming over to the calendar tab where you can change your views to week or day, as well as back to month, as well as a few other tasks such as connecting the calendar to your Outlook so you can actually view and use it like any normal Outlook calendar, or setting up email alerts uh, when new events are created or changed. Initially, if I come over to events and select new event, this is going to present me with a form where I can fill in the details of my event. I have a test, uh, sorry, a title field here, as well as uh, the option to set a location, a start end times, and you can actually use the uh, little calendar selector here to uh, choose different days entirely different times on the on the drop down as well as the description there's also some categories you can use here uh, there's some predefined ones uh, you can also enter your own or speak to your SharePoint administrator to get this list updated to things that might be relevant to your business you can also do things such as making the event an all day event or making making it a repeating event so as you can see, the options are very similar to what you would normally see in Outlook when you're creating an event. One other thing that's quite nice is the ability to attach files. So if I wished, I could actually attach a file to this calendar event, and then other users within my office could click on that calendar event to view the file. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and select this as a meeting and save the file. Or the event. Now you can see here that the event has simply been created and now displays in this month view. If I was to go and change my view to week and move forward one week, there's that event again. Selecting the event will take me into edit it or to view it and then I'll have an option here to edit delete or close to go back out. Now another way that I can create events as well is simply by clicking into the day that I wish. Actually that's uh, changed my view, I want to go back there. Clicking in towards the bottom, so not on the actual day where I have there, but towards the bottom or anywhere in the open space. And you'll notice here that there's an add option. Clicking on add will again show us that same form where we just created the event earlier with the same options. I'll quit out of there. Another useful view is dropping down up on the calendar view here and selecting all events. This will display all the events that are currently in the calendar as a list and you can simply come in to edit that list and make group changes uh, very quickly as opposed to going into each event separately. I can simply stop editing that and select calendar again to take me back to the previous view. Now as mentioned earlier, you can go up to the calendar tab and select connect to Outlook. This will give you the option to connect it to your local Outlook client and simply work on it like any calendar you usually have in Outlook.
Thank you for joining me on this calendar training in SharePoint Online. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us via email or on our website www.ongc.com.au. Thank you very much.